Welcome back. This is an incredible story. His doctors called it a miracle. Tonight, a local pastor sharing his near-death experience with a flesh-eating bacteria. The Roberts family tells the night team's Patty Santos that it all started with a fun family outing. Saturday in the park. Doug Roberts lives life with zeal and joy. Well, you never know what tomorrow holds. And so, uh, boy, just treat each day I like life is precious. Now, even more so after coming close to death. That's him eight months ago preaching at Calvary Temple Assembly of God Church. It is, of course, uh, Pentecost Sunday, which... Days later, he was in intensive care, fighting to survive an exposure to a flesh-eating bacteria. Doctors at the emergency room told his wife, Janet, to expect the worst. He looked at me and said, it's going to be his leg or his life. He said, I know you're religious. And I said, well, I have faith in God. And he said, well, you need to pray because this is the be as worse as it gets. It's hard to say exactly where he got it. His best guess at a theme park where he says a large bruise appeared on his left thigh after a ride. The day after that, then it started really getting dark and uh, starting to blister. Roberts was told the disease was traveling an inch an hour on his body, even shutting down his kidneys. Typically, we're talking about the severe cases that rapidly progress in hours to days uh, and become life-threatening. Infectious disease doctor Dwayne Hosmanthal explains flesh-eating bacterias are rare. Some come from ocean or brackish water. Others live on surface, but they enter through open wounds. Four months later, Roberts was back on the pulpit praising the medical team who helped save his life. Oh, it's wonderful to be back. It's a... Now he says the experience has tested and strengthened his faith. I haven't met anyone yet that hasn't faced some amount of tragedy in their life. And uh, it, it, it really, if you have faith and you have a relationship with God, that, that will pull you through. Patty Santos, Case at 12 News. Hello, everybody. Stefania Jimenez here. Thank you so much for watching KSAT's YouTube channel. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.